Hi there, welcome to another uh, short video. Uh, this this one is using QGIS Zanzibar 382 and it's just about modifying the forms. So when you use identify, you see some uh, more useful information popping up here in terms of attributes. So we'll be adding some attributes and then customizing those attributes in the way they appear. So we can populate the um, data in the, in the shapefile, database, what have you, through a more uh, sort of simpler interface. Um, on the form. I'll show you what I mean. It's, cu it's customizing the form using widgets. So first thing I'm going to do is add some fields. So I'm going to go to source fields and I'm going to add a field and we call it best color. Um, and we'll, uh, so I want to choose use a color wheel, sort of color picker. So you can sort of store red, green, blue, what have you. Um, and then uh, choose your color and that's going to be stored as a color value and then we'll add another one uh, and we'll say cakes sell cakes question mark does this location sell cakes and we'll sort of store yes or a no so we'll just have three in there so we'll turn off editing do a save it's okay uh, I think toggle editing is off so when I click on there you see it has best color and cakes that's as expected they're just text strings comes up with null and null not very interesting and uh, certainly not not um, we can do better than that so how do we do a bit customization of the form modifying of the attribute interface that's on attributes form this is the bit you want you click on best color and then you could say please choose a color and so I went quickly there. So this widget type, this is this is the sort of magic bit. So you're setting what um, sort of UI is going on here, what what uh, uh, value you're selecting. So it could be a, a list of unique values. You could have a drop down list. You can do all sorts of things. It's the date time. We're choosing a color. So the field contains a color which will be stored as a string. Hence me creating the string value. What about the cakes? Do they sell cakes? So these points here, maybe they're cafes, maybe they're cinemas, whatever, theatres. Uh, I want to know if they sell donuts or cakes. Yes or no. It's a checkbox. So you just go to checkbox. And now it says widget type checkbox. There's various constraint stuff in there. If you're familiar with the likes of just databases and art map and all that, you know, and other things. Any, any sort of data entry platform, really. You can set to null, not null various uh, expressions etc. We may go into that in a further video. I just want to get the basics here to show you how to modify the form. So when I add a feature these things are going to pop up. So when you do a checkbox you have to you have to have a representation. So you're going to turn the checkbox on or off. When you have it checked, so it's a tick there, what does that mean? It means yes. Hence me putting those three characters in the text string in the uh, attribute uh, definition earlier in the schema. Representation for uncheck? No. You could have 0 and 1. It's certainly easier later on to do, use 0 and 1, but just for the effect I'm, I'm typing in these values. Press OK. Now when we click you'll see it comes up. This is um, not edited, nothing's editing at the moment, so it's sort of nulled out. So instead of it saying, do you remember it said just the attribute name and a null? And the attribute name and a null. Now we seem to have some kind of drop down thing in a checkbox. Well, let's look at the attribute table. And you can see where the alias is appearing now rather than the actual fields. So let's just uh, take that to one side for a minute. Let's make this editable. Toggle editing. And now when I click, I have please choose a color and I get a color wheel. A, um, sorry, color picker chooser. Let's go for this. Color, I think so I've chosen that green and do this sell cakes that's on and off so I'll set to on I yes press OK and when I bring back the attribute table you can see what's happened here it's put the string value the um, value for that color in there and do this sell cakes yes or no so if I go back in there and say turn that off and press OK bring that it now says no so there we go that's a quick quick um, intro to modifying forms. It's dead easy to do. You're just going to the properties of the layer 
and you're going to attributes form and looking for the widget and the alias so this is the sort of uh, um, uh, the, the, the um, this can be sort of the instructions you know uh, to, to, to let you know what to do what to choose um, that's the alias uh, and uh, and then the widget type um, you can have to label on top actually on that please choose your color uh, and then um, certainly by all means play around with the other widgets and, and see what you get so you see I've done put label on top and that's what the, so it's moved this text to be on top of the um, what you can select let's, let's make the cakes one label on top as well so now they see they'll be the text is now on top so you can do a bit of alteration there but there's much more sophisticated alteration we can do in the in the forms builder that comes with uh, um, QGIS and I'll cover that off in another video but hopefully that will get you going with um, doing simple modification of forms more rapid data entry reducing errors uh, reducing typos because people are selecting um, and uh, yeah hope you find that useful thanks very much